I'm Butch Whiting, the CEO and co-founder of Cryptic Outdoor Group. And I'm going to talk to you real quickly about a special makeup that we have specific for 2019, and that's lead wave flashlights. Uh, these are made in Spain. You can't find these on Amazon.com in the US. You can't find them on Amazon in Europe, but they're primarily sold in Europe. They're a very, very high-end military-grade tactical flashlight that also has application for use, obviously, hunting, camping, everything else. But what makes it a military-grade flashlight is that these flashlights are designed to actually be shot attached to a rifle, so the recoil will not harm any of the internal components. So we've used these lights for quite a while, and it's a pretty cool deal. What makes them cryptic is that They've anodized, so this will not come off. Um, they've anodized into the metal frame of the flashlight a cryptic Inferno variant, and they've also done a cryptic Typhon variant. So you got a black and you have a higher vis, um, kind of a burnt orange anodized Typhon, or correction, a burnt orange anodized Inferno variant. So the flashlights look cool. They say cryptic on them, then they also have the actual names. So the flashlight, the XP-1 Trooper, has 535 alums. It has a two hour, 120 minute life uh, when it's on the entire time. And there's three positions on the flashlight that are all done on the back of the flashlight. The first position is a low. The second position is the strobe, which is used for tactical application and also our enhances battery life. And the third one is the bright. That's where you get the whole 535 alum. Okay. So uh, the other cool feature about this light, besides the robust internal military grade componentry, is that there's a little silicone button that's on here. And when I turn this light on now, that thing's going to turn green. So after I use this light for a period of time, and I'm about 50% through my battery, that, that light's going to turn yellow. And then as we draw down on the battery, it's going to turn red, and that's going to be the indicator for your, the user that it's time to replace the batteries. So that's a really nice feature because lots of times you grab a flashlight, you check it out, throw it in your pack, it looks good, you get out there, you're um, you know, taking care of an animal or doing something after hours, and pretty soon the batteries just dump off. So that's a really excellent feature that comes with these cryptic edition lead wave lights is the battery indicator. Low, strobe, high. 525 alums. So the next flashlight, this is the MTL Defensor. And this is a little more sophisticated flashlight than the, uh, than the Trooper. First of all, you have the same exact battery indicator on this light that I spoke to on the Trooper. Um, that changes based off the battery life. Um, then there's a five position ring that's around the top of this flashlight. Right now, this is in the locked position, meaning I can't accidentally turn this on. So if this, if this flashlight's mounted to your weapon and you bump it and you don't want to give away your position or you know activity hasn't started to happen, it's not going to turn on. But my light's still showing that the flashlight is active. Uh, if I turn the ring a quarter turn, it's going to come on the lowest setting. And this is a, a one quarter power setting. And then you go up to the next setting, which is a half, uh, a half power setting. Then you go to a full power setting. And that full power setting is 825 lumens, 825 lumens at full power setting. And then the last power setting, you go back into the strobe setting. Um, and that strobe setting is to confuse or dazzle uh, an intruder or a suspect or whatever it is. So again, these are military grade tactical flashlights. Um, I can tell you that when you use that strobe setting, you actually, if you're in the back country, it will, uh, it will prolong the use of your batteries. So if it's strobing, you're actually using less battery power than you would if you were at the full setting. So that's the main um, difference. It's a higher alum. It has a higher battery life. Uh, the battery life on this flashlight on the Defensor is three hours. 
or 180 minutes is what's advertised by Leadwave in Spain. Um, so in closing, this flashlight's a little more technical. Uh, it comes also in the cryptic inferno anodized variant. You're never gonna get this uh, rubbed off or, or it's not gonna degrade. And it also comes in the black or Typhon variant as well. So um, major difference between the Defensor and the Trooper. You got a little more weight on this one. You've got adjustable five position. You got the ability to lock it if you are gonna use it in tactical application and you don't want to uh, run the battery life out or um, you don't want to trigger it and have your, uh, I guess, give away your position uh, or your team. And um, you got better uh, loom with this. You got better lumens. Lumens, you have better lumens with this, uh, with this light, approximately 200 more. So longer battery life, better lumens, more features, um, and still has uh, the great uh, aspect of this light, which is all, all of the lead wave, or the majority of the lead wave lights is that battery life indicator, so you don't run out when you need it the most. Low power or quarter power, half power, full power, and disco. So the type of batteries that uh, both of these flashlights use are the um, lithium CR123A three volts that you can get in any store. They're used in almost everything. So nice little loading cage here, dump it in and you're good to go.